If ever there was a place that wine lovers call paradise, it's Bordeaux in southwestern France, home to some of the most prestigious and expensive wines in the world. Here, in the rarefied air of Mouton Rothschild and Margot, discriminating buyers come once a year to sample and rate the latest vintage. The finesse, the elegance of it is amazing. Among these elite tasters, perhaps none has a more profound influence on the global wine market than this woman, Annette Alvarez-Peters. Our customers are looking for great wines, and we feel that there's an obligation for us to be here. But Alvarez Peters doesn't represent an elite high-end distributor or five-star restaurant. She works for Costco. And Costco, famous for televisions, tires, and tuna fish, just happens to sell more wine than almost any retailer in the world, more than a billion dollars worth each year. That makes Alvarez Peters one of the most powerful figures in the wine industry. Did you have a big background in wine already? I did not. Did you know anything about wine? I did not. <laughs> you had to go out and learn about wine from scratch. Beer, wine, and spirit, yes, I did. And now you're the most powerful person in wine. I'm an employee of Costco. You're an employee that of Costco. That happens to oversee the wine category. 20 years ago, Alvarez Peters was buying audio electronics for Costco. Today, she heads a team of 17 domestic and international wine buyers and is involved in every detail of the business. I think it's too light, huh? From approving label designs. That seems better. To teaching other Costco buyers the tricks of the trade. We got Burgundy to the east along with Rhone. All of the buyers have purchased other categories for our company. You learn that discipline and then you learn the product. That's not easy, is it? There's a learning curve, yeah. for sure, for sure. Go inside the cultural icon, Costco. The science behind the bargains. How bargains generate billions and millions of passionate fans. The Costco Craze premieres April 26th, 9 Eastern and Pacific on CNBC.